Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Today we're going to present to you about carbon nanotube in dental implant. The product that we choose for this task is carbon nanotube, which is quite famous nowadays due to its uses to help overcome people's dental problems. There were a lot of evolution of the material to use to build this dental implant, and the latest one is carbon nanotube, which we will discuss detail today. First, let me tell you about the overview for this topic to make you understand better. First, we are going to tell you about the dental implant, cover a little interaction of carbon nanotube, history of discovery of carbon nanotube, and also its type, structure, and properties. We will also tell you about the suitability for application and advantage of carbon nanotube in dental implant. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about dental implant. As you can see in the circle, uh, the uh, these implants are divided into two parts, which is at the uh, above part is the artificial teeth, while for the um, lower part is the implant, which is uh, used that will be used to insert into the gum line. Now, I will explain to you about the uses of the dental implant, um, which is uh, the dental implant is used to replace the damaged teeth or the infected teeth. Okay, how it works? Usually, these dental implants um, are used to improvise, improvise the bite and also to make sure that the patient will have a better uh, eating experience. Okay, for the materials, the common materials to make these dental implants are usually made up of metals and also ceramic, uh, such as uh, glassy carbon, uh, zirconia, and also titanium. Okay, due to some limitations of the, the old or the common materials of this dental implant, they, they have developed uh, the new uh, implant which is um, there are lots of research that have been taken in order to adapt for the oral environment okay now let's continue with the carbon nanotube which is the material that we choose for this study first i will tell you about the nanoscience in nanoscience the smaller the size of the system tend to move more quickly compared to the large system because of the inertia of the mass and uh, when the limit of the size of smaller device encounter it will cause fewer problems in the vibrational and also in the thermal distortion and it also consumes less cost and also less power while in nanotechnology is derived from the nanoscience and for nanotechnology, the, the material uh, have a structure or technique that have a size scale below the 100 nanometer, which is it also including the carbon nanotube. And before the scientists uh, discovered carbon nanotube, it first, they first discovered the fullerenes. Okay, fullerenes is composed of the sheet of graphene that have hexagonal rings and also pentagonal rings. And when they have uh, pentagonal rings, so it can be differentiated into the planar shape. And the name of nanocarbon tube is derived from, uh, based on the size of the diameter, which is in nanometer. Now, we move to the history of carbon nanotubes. Here, you can see the timeline when the carbon nanotube was discovered. All of you maybe already know that carbon is not to be uh, the most versatile element that exists on the earth. And it has many different properties which can be used in different ways depending on how carbon atoms are arranged. So here uh, uh, is the history of new development or discovery of the new carbon arrangement starting from 1779, where graphite was discovered, then diamond, fluorescence, fluorine related, uh, related carbon nanotube, and finally multi-wall carbon nanotube. 
which is the latest one. All of you already know the basic knowledge of carbon nanotube explained earlier. Now, let me proceed with the type of carbon nanotube. It consists of two main types, which is single wall and multi wall carbon nanotube. It also has uh, several types such as torus, fluoride, and nano which will be not focused on them because it's not the main type. And as you can see in the picture, on my right hand side is a single wall, multi single wall carbon nanotube, and the other side is multi wall carbon nanotube, which is, has a, you can see it has a more several layers. Let me proceed with the single wall. See, it is a single layer of graphite in a cylinder for your information. Uh, the graphite, la graphite layer has a roll into a cylinder shape which um, produces this single wall carbon nanotube. And it also consists of two separated regions, which is end of cap and side wall of carbon nanotube. And both of these side regions have uh, different chemical properties and physical properties. And single wall carbon nanotube also has an important electrical properties compared to multi wall and it is excellent conductor and it is also expensive to produce. Multi wall carbon nanotube. It is a multi layers of graphite uh, which is form of collective of single wall into a single wall with different diameter into a one type of carbon nanotube and it also has different properties compared to single wall such as it has a different length and diameter and the interlayer, interlayer distance also has uh, close to the distance between graphene and graphite layer right, which is approximately 3.3 angstrom Okay, now let's move to the structure of carbon nanotubes There are three types of carbon nanotube structure which is the first one is outer, second, zigzag and the third one is Kira and this structure is different based on the orientation of the sheet of graphene and the carbon nanotube consists sp2 for their bonding and also it consists honeycomb lattices as you can see based on the structure properties of carbon nanotube the properties are divided into two which is mechanical properties and biocompatibility properties of carbon nanotube first look at the mechanical properties of carbon nanotube it is sp2 hybridized and arranged hexagonal in hexagonal lattice and it is also a durable material which is where the carbon carbon materials have a higher spring constant compared to metal and iron solids and it also have high surface area and high fracture toughness for the bio compatibility properties of carbon nanotube it has a bone growth activity properties which can help in healing process of the cell bones and, and for the anti-folding and bactericidal activity properties will help to avoid the bacteria to infect our gum line. Carbon nanotube pristicine are inherently cytotoxic in nature and prohibit the growth pathogen on their surface which serve as useful anti-folding layer on dental implant. Suitability for application, I will tell you how the material we choose is suitable for the application in dental implants. First, uh, carbon nanotube was non toxic, so it is suitable to be used in urethral mouth and health problem can be avoided. Second, for advantages, carbon nanotube have high mechanical strength which is suitable properties that need in dental implant because dental implant must be able to withstand high st uh, stress and forces applied as a result of eating. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about what are the advantage of this dental implant which is uh, carbon nanotubes dental implant. Uh, it is very high fracture toughness which uh, also high cell growth and production uh, it can also facilitate the healing process uh, due to biocompatible properties while carbon nanotubes also be able to increase the resistance to the cracks of the dental implant which is caused by the um, uh, high pressure uh, when you're munching th things or food so let me proceed with the Q&A sessions 
Is there any questions? Um, as you said earlier, the material to build a dental implant has gone through several evolution. Can I know example of previous material in dental implant and how the carbon nanotubes uh, can improve the dental implant? Okay, thank you for the question. So you want to know one of the example of the material that we use in dental implant before we use uh, previously and how carbon nanotube can help improve in dental implant. So one of the example that I can give you is zirconia implant which is the material is zirconia. It has been used in previous dental implant and it has uh, some advantages such as aesthetic appearance, mechanical properties, biocompatibility and low plug affinity but it also has a weakness which is the weakness it has a poor fracture structure to overcome this weakness we combine carbon nanotube with this zirconia to form nanocomposite material and by having these materials it can help to improve the toughness of the dental implant hope that answer your questions is there any questions other questions no if there are no other questions um, that's all from us and thank you for lending your ears to us and here to our presentation thank you